A short while ago, my classmates and I learned how to program in Python for our physics class. We used a module called vPython to create physics simulations like this. When I checked the documentation, however, I learned that vPython could get input from the user, like keyboard and mouse input. This was when I realized I could make an actual video game with it. The first game I made was this one. It's a short game where you move a green sphere and jump across the blocks without falling. My classmates thought it was pretty cool and lots of them actually played it, so I decided to make more games. Before physics class, some of my classmates would play this one obscure game called Geometry Dash? I don't know if you've heard of it. So I decided to remake it in 3D. I ended up creating this game, which is really just Geometry Dash, but the blocks are cubes and the spikes are cones. It turned out pretty good, and I found it fun to do challenges where I'd beat the level with strange camera rotations and angles like this. Or you could even do it in first person. Moving on, I decided to make my grand finale of vPython games. One of my classmates suggested that I make a first person shooter, so I decided on doing just that. There is just one problem. First person cameras in vPython are really hard to make. I kept failing over and over. My camera wasn't working, some vector would be off, or I didn't understand the very strange way the camera is set up in vPython. It took at least three hours to get this to work right. Maybe I should have used Unity. But eventually, it worked. The next step was to create the world because a flat plane simply won't do. I had the idea of making a world out of a 3D graph, kind of like the one in this example program. So I learned how to create meshes and made a somewhat hilly landscape with small ponds. The collision with this 3D graph was also difficult, but I eventually got it figured out. I ended up taking the function for the 3D graph, plugging in that player's x and z coordinates, and not allowing the player to go below the y position that function returned. All that was left was the enemies. In vPython, the graphics are very limited, so I had to go with evil cubes, because what else do I have to work with? Evil... springs? So now you have colored cubes coming at ya. Firing bullets came next. Using the unit vector of the camera, I was able to create projectiles that actually use projectile motion we learned about in physics. And no, there is no air resistance. You're welcome. The goal is to beat up all of these enemies before they get to you and whack you. After creating a title screen and a game over screen, the game is now complete. And yeah, that's the game. All in all, it took me about two weeks to make it. I'm sure if I tried making a similar game in a game engine like Unity, it wouldn't take nearly as long. But that's for another video. After this game, my Python programming slowed down. I've only made one game since, and that was actually 3D Snake, which I mentioned earlier in a different video. Moving on, I'm going to be doing most of my game programming in Game Maker Studio 2, making 2D games. Though it was pretty fun to mess around with vPython. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope that this video inspires you to try something new. Also, if you want to play any of the games I mentioned here, they're in the description. Have fun!